Hey, welcome friends to this TikTok on securing your Facebook uh, account. This is uh, primarily for dummies or I should say for the non uh, tech savvy people. But there are a few things uh, it's better since we all are using tech in our daily lives. It's better we learn a few things which will help secure uh, our uh, personal information. So I was compelled to make this video because over the past three years, I very recently yesterday, one of my neighbors uh, approached me for some help on uh, his Facebook account. That's because uh, he felt that his account was compromised and someone in a different city logged into his account and requested money from his uh, from few people from his friend list which apparently he did not uh, do that. So in this uh, short video, I will basically show you some screenshots through the Facebook app through which you can enable multi-factor authentication or to be specific 2FA, two-factor authentication, wherein you can log into Facebook only using your username, password, and something like an OTP, which we generally get while doing financial uh, transactions. So rather than wasting further time, let's uh, begin uh, with this uh, discussion. So to secure your Facebook account, the first thing when you um, feel that your account has been compromised, it's better we first uh, secure your, uh, our account. So what you do is click on the three lines that you see on the Facebook uh, app that's shown in the first picture. Go to settings and privacy section and under that just click on settings. Now when you have clicked on settings, uh, you will be shown a screen with security and login option where the first section shows you uh, where you are, you are logged in. So these days since we have all have multiple devices like a laptop, mobile, a desktop. So it's uh, possible that you might have logged in to Facebook from many of these devices. But other than these devices, it will also show you uh, devices through which probably the hacker uh, has logged in. So essentially what we are going to do is first have a look at those uh, places from which we have logged in and then log out from all the sessions. So on the second screen, you will see that option uh, that uh, you will see something which is shown in the third picture over here. So here you will see all the active logins that have been recently done with Facebook. So the first thing what you need to do is log out of all sessions. This is the first step towards uh, securing your account uh, with an immediate effect. Once you have done that, uh, log out of your current uh, Facebook application and change the password and re-log in once again. Once you have re-logged in, you again need to click on the three uh, lines which I showed you in the first picture. Go to um, the settings and under settings, again go to security and login. And there, if you go, just we have finished the, uh, with the security and login section, the logging out of uh, all the accounts. Now go to two-factor authentication and click on use two-factor authentication as shown in the fourth picture. The two-factor authentication, as I already said in the beginning of my presentation, that it is just like an OTP, uh, similar uh, analogous to when you do any online purchase and uh, you have entered your credit card details, uh, your bank sends you an OTP. So similarly, uh, you can get that OTP or one-time password using two methods. One is Authenticator app and the other one is a text message SMS. Now for a layman, using a text message is much simpler. Uh, I would say that yes, you can go for a text message, but uh, on Facebook, you also have an option 
to configure multiple devices for two-factor authentication. So you can have one device set for using authenticator app and you can have uh, any SIM enabled device with text message. So what I'll do is I'll go more into the detail of using an uh, authenticator app and then I will just tell you how to keep text messages as a backup. Now look into the uh, picture number six. So when you select on authenticator app and click on continue, you will be presented with a screen similar to what uh, uh, is shown on picture number six. So you will have a QR code and uh, there will also be an option to manually uh, add a code. So the authenticator app which I'm using is Microsoft Authenticator. Uh, you have various other options available. You have Google Authenticator um, and many others. But the reason why I don't want to use uh, multiple authenticators is uh, just having a simplified approach uh, using one single uh, authenticator app. And also since I'm using a Microsoft account as an, an, an Azure account, uh, I'll be using the same one to also uh, create an account for Facebook. So once that app is installed, so that's a prerequisite, uh, which probably I've missed that before you start uh, configuring two-factor authenticator, um, authentication on Facebook, get the Microsoft Authenticator app installed from your Play Store uh, or the Apple Store. Now, once you get the screen with the QR code, just click on set up on same device, which essentially means that if you have this uh, Facebook application configured uh, on your phone, you also want the Authenticator app to be configured on the same device. You also have an option that uh, maybe you have uh, a tab and an iPad residing at home and you want to keep the Authenticator app installed there. Yes, you can do that too. So if you want to configure the Authenticator app on a different device, you need to scan this QR code. But if it's on the same device, just click on uh, Setup on Same Device. As soon as you do that, you will have the Microsoft Authenticator app popping up and a Facebook account uh, link to it. So let's uh, go to the slide. So I'll first uh, probably speak about the picture eight. So this is how it basically looks the Microsoft Authenticator app. Now, this is a small uh, demo pic which I have uh, used. So you can see that uh, through this Authenticator app, you can uh, have uh, two-factor authentication for a lot of services like Slack, Dropbox, GitHub, and also Facebook, which we are currently talking. So here you see uh, these six-digit uh, codes. These are the of, uh, Facebook OTPs which I have been talking about. This OTP is valid for 30 seconds, post which it keeps changing. So once your Authenticator app is configured, then you are all set to use two-factor authentication. Now once the two-factor authentication is turned on, uh, your screen on two-factor authentication will show that two-factor authentication is on you have an option to configure another device also. So it's not necessary that you have two-factor authentication configured only on uh, one device. Uh, I have one configured on my phone as well as iPad. So you can have a backup method. So in case if your phone is lost, you could still log into Facebook uh, through two-factor authentication using the code from a separate device. So on the first device, if I have configured uh, through the Authenticator app, you may well try out the text message option uh, also if the device is SIM enabled. So that's basically it, how you um, secure your Facebook account by logging out of all devices, changing the password and also enable two-factor authentication. Once, if, once you have secured your account, uh, since you already feel that your account might have been compromised, it's better th that you log a complaint with the uh, local police station. And in addition to that, you could also report the matter to the to Facebook. Just 
so that the, the administrators are aware of any kind of misuse. So I'll just go to the name. When you go to settings and scroll uh, down, the, the extreme last option which you'll have is the get help section. On the get help section, the second option, if you think your account was hacked. Uh, since this demo I made primarily to address that issue of hacking, click on that. You are presented with various options which you can select based on the uh, situation you are facing. I found a post message or even that I didn't create. Someone else got uh, into my account without my permission. I found an account which uses my name or photos. People can see things that I thought were private. I don't see the right option on this list. So mostly you will have any of the first four options, but if uh, none of these apply, then you could select the last option. Once you select that, just click on continue. So um, you have reported the matter to Facebook. Um, I think that's it we have uh, for this uh, video on securing your Facebook account for dummies. Hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, video. If you have uh, any further uh, comments or thoughts, just uh, share your feedback on the comment section below. Happy Facebooking. Bye-bye.